Have you ever wanted to change your WordPress login page from this to this or even this? Hey, it's Andy from SmartWP and today we're gonna to show you how to change the design of your WordPress login page. It's really simple and just takes one plugin, so let's hop right in. So you can see we're already on a site here. You can just log into your site by just doing slash wp-admin. So this is the current WordPress login page. You can see this is a pretty typical style. You all are probably used to seeing this, but we're gonna customize every aspect of this page. So let's just log right in and we're gonna be using a plugin to do this. So let's go to plugins and then we'll go to add new. And the plugin we're gonna be using is called Color Lib Login Customizer. So just type up here, Color Lib. Make sure your um, computer doesn't autocorrect here and put a space there. And we'll type in Color Lib Login. And you can see the top plugin here with uh, 40,000 active installs. This is the one we're gonna be using. There's a lot of plugins that'll let you customize your WordPress login page, but we just found this one to be the easiest and have the best options. So we'll install and activate the plugin. So now that the plugin is installed, we can go to the settings of it here. And if you've ever used the WordPress customizer, you'll be very familiar with how this looks. We have all the settings here on the left and then a preview of what we're doing here on the right. Now, the one thing I love about this plugin is it includes a few example templates here. So this is the default one and then we can do a little split screen one here or this one with this cool art around the edges, which I really like. But for our example, we're just gonna start with the basic login page here and then edit our settings. So the first thing you probably are gonna to wanna to do is change the WordPress logo to a different logo. Uh, so you can set where the logo URL goes. So for example, if you have a blog for a big company and you want the logo to go to the main company's homepage, you can do that here. So we're gonna be changing the logo here using the custom logo option. And we already have a logo uploaded here. You can see that logo shows up here kind of small, so let's bring it up a couple sizes here. Change the height, the height of it too, so I think that looks good. It also gives you the option to use a text logo if you want, or you can even hide the logo completely. So let's go back to more options. There's different layout options here, so if you want to uh, have it on different sides of the page or things like that. I like it centered in the page, so we'll just keep it centered. Uh, there's different background options also. You could change the color or upload an image as the background. Uh, let's just make it completely white. And then there's form options, so you can control all aspects of the form. In addition to the background color of the form. It also lets you customize almost every aspect of the form here. You can see there's settings for everything you see on the screen. Um, hide extra links. Well, we want to keep the lost password link, so we'll do that. You can also change the uh, lost uh, password text. In addition to that text, you can also change in the login form text. So you can have the titles be anything you want. We'll keep those the default settings because they make the most sense. But if you wanted to edit those, you could do that here. And the same goes with the lost password text. And you can also change the color of the form buttons. So if you wanted to do red or something like that, I'm just gonna change these real quickly. Make sure to change the border too. Get rid of the text shadow here. You can hide the remember me option. And if you're more familiar with CSS, there's also a custom CSS option and you can just add CSS here for any elements you want. So for example, I'm just gonna add a bit of CSS to hide this back to smart WP button here. And then after you're done making your changes, you can just go up here to publish and that'll save your settings. Now, what I also love about this plugin is if you go to the homepage and go to customize, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this. The settings are also in here for the login customizer and you can just change the settings here as well, which makes it easy to find the options. Now let's log out real quick and we'll just go to the login page here. And you can see now we have the custom login page we just made, or you can use one of the templates if you don't feel like actually designing every element of your login page. And that's it. We've completely customized our WordPress login page, including changing the logo. This is a great change if you want to add a little bit more branding to your login page. And we hope this tutorial was helpful. Remember to like and subscribe and go to smartwp.com for more WordPress tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching. See ya.